28th of December 2017. Uh, this circuit area has a very uh, short, uh, what? Has not been sterilized, uh, it's a nine, year, nine years old, right? Yeah, nine years old. And today I discovered that there is a lot of milk uh, from the memory plants uh, now. Now, this, 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 this dog has been licking her lower parts, as you can see, all black. This has been doing, going on for how many years? Many years, right? Yeah. Uh, this is not normal. This means either this dog has been discharging a lot from the urinary tract or from the reproduction mm -hmm. site. Uh, so that she has to clean herself. So the more she cleans herself, she, she licks the lower part, the skin becomes black. And this shows that uh, this dog is really very stressed out by having to clean herself up. Now we look further down, you can see this part also is swollen. Uh. Mm. It's swollen. So we have already done the urine check, dipstick, shows that there is an uh, infection uh, of the bladder. So now I will check the, hold on, uh, I'll check the abdomen. Just hold in front of uh. me. I'll check the abdomen, see whether I can detect any pain in the kidneys. Uh. Now you can see the reaction of it, that's really close. I will check the kidneys, palpation, whether this is enlarged or not. No, it seems like no pain. Oh, there's some pain there. You can see the reaction. Yeah, she's making. No, the kidney, this is the kidney area. But not those crying type of pain. No. There's some pain. Okay, now I'm going into the... She has high thunder pain. Oh, liver first. It will appear to be okay, not more swollen. Kidney, I can feel the left kidney. But so far so good. Slight pain. Then I go to the bladder now. Further back is the bladder. It's not swollen. So if there's any stone I can feel, so if it's a big stone. But previous x-ray show no stones. So many things can be diagnosed from palpation but you have to do it often over the years okay so uh, no, no 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 bladder stone because otherwise I can feel the sound the trepidators uh. so the only good news is other than x-rays palpation can detect big stone okay so the law is here now this is a recurrent urine tract infection it's due to the dog having a having a licking the private parts for many years uh, and this all black. Normally it's not even black. Mm. A normal dog doesn't have to lick because normally she doesn't have discharge. Uh. So this dog is very clean. So she keeps on licking until the private parts is swollen. Now this recurrent urine tract infection is due to the fact that that the reproductive tract and the urinary the bladder, they are close together, they, they open very close, uh, maybe about 5mm apart inside the private parts. Uh. So if one part is infected, let's say the, the, the reproductive, the uterus is infected, it is, discharges the, the pus and this dog licks it off, trying to clean herself. In the process, she introduced the bacteria into the bladder through the urethra. So, in the end, uh, probably recently, she has this recurrent urinary tract infection. But I think the owner didn't notice is that this dog does have what I call the pyometra because she cleans herself up until everything is all black. And she cleans herself up so well that the owner doesn't notice. But you can see about four weeks ago, do you see four weeks ago? The dog was very active cleaning herself. No, she, she four, really four to five weeks ago. every single time, every single day. Uh, she does it every single day, even worse. I mean, there For is For many a, years, she has been licking herself every day. Mm. So one, it's just a habit of her. No, it's not a habit. There's something uh, abnormal in the hormones causing this uh, private parts to be very itchy, we call it. Uh. It's like the imbalance of the hormones causes the, the private parts to be itchy, so the dog has to lick herself to, to relieve the itch. Mm. And in the process, she introduced bacteria from the the, the vagina to the the urethra into the bladder. Uh, so there's one reason. So the, the treatment is to 
still have, I would recommend is to sterilize the dog because now there is forced pregnancy. Just now you saw milk, milk in the in the mammary glands, and it is very abnormal for whole dog. But it does happen when they are not sterilized. So this shows that the ovaries are not normal, and uh, in time to come, this dog will have a, a pyometra, the infection of the womb. In fact, she's having it, but the owner didn't know about it. And uh, the kid one is charging every six months and lasting for about maybe four, four weeks. And she has this behavior of aggressiveness, looking after a small toy or protecting it. Does it, did she do that? She invite people. Uh, but carrying something around, mm -hmm. a cloth or something, does she do that? Yeah. That, that, that sign of four trends, see twice a year. So you see that uh, this, this one is uh, due to uh, abnormal hormonal uh, imbalance or uh, hormonal imbalance. So my, my recommendation is to sterilize her. She still looks quite fit. Quite fit. Let me check the heart, she'll be alright. Of course the risk is higher at this time. What kind of risk? Risk, anesthetic risk. For old dogs. Huh? Heart is still good. Okay, so we just do a blood test and uh, then let her decide what she wants to do. And I'll go on to the CD which she has done. And uh, then uh, antibiotics again. So the other treatment is six weeks on, six weeks off antibiotics. But that's not the solution. Uh. Six weeks on is to kill all the bacteria. So your six weeks off, six weeks off. is to spay and also uh, spay first. Then your CD, you continue, 100%. Mm. Water, of course, you can give, but uh, direct water. But if I spare it already, will she like, still have all these infections? Uh, I cannot guarantee, but from, from what I see, that the chances are lower. Ah, uh, because the, of the openings of the urethra and the urethra opening, uh, they, they are close together, the bladder and the, and the you trust, huh? But is the risk high hmm? for her age to do the... That's why the risk is high because you didn't do it when she was young. If you had done it when she was young, you'd be, you wouldn't have all this black stuff here. Because those are usually due to the, the dog being very clean. Huh? Even a bit of discharge, she goes and lick it. Mm. And that very obsessed with it until every day you see her doing it. Huh? Okay, do you finish it? So,